Hello everyone, welcome to another episode. My name is Evola. In today's video, we are going to count on top 10 US states in terms of have most numbers of indie game studios or developers. Before we dive into the video, actually 99% of you didn't subscribe to my channel, so I need your support. If you do it, I would really appreciate that. So let's dive to the video. In number 10, we got Indiana. And Indiana got two notable indie game studios, which one of them is Basilisk Games, which has an Echelon series. And Relogic, which got Terraria in his pocket. And number nine, Oregon. Oregon got three indie game studios, which one of them is Fulbright Company, and the game is Gone Home. It's changed. I used to tell you everything. And if I can't do it in person, I'll tell it to this journal. Just like I was talking to The second one is Garage Games Studios, which has Marble Blast Ultra. And this third one is Silver Creek Entertainment, which have Sulturio Sultire. Number 8, Illinois. Illinois have also three indie game studios. One of them is Bawaroga Game Studios, which have Spore Origins and Zombies. And second one is Storm Impact, with Taskman. And Young Horses with Octodad, Octodad, Deadliest Catch, and Bugsnacks. Silent. Oh, this one's lively. Beautiful seed patterns. Number seven, North Carolina, which have also three indie game studios. The first is Arkan Games, uh, which have AI World series, a Valley Without Wind series, and the Last Federation. And the Christopher Howard Wolf, which have a Dragon series, I'm okay, murder simulator. And third studio is Mighty Rabbit Studios, with Saturday morning RPG and Breach and Clear and Breach and Clear Delva. Number 6, Florida, which has also three game studios. The first one is Artrix Entertainment, and the games are Adventure Quest, Dragon Fable, Mesh Quest, Adventure Quest Vault, Warp Force, Epic Duel, Hero Smash. And Chromatic Game Studios with Dungeon Defenders. And Drake Smart with Battle Cruiser 3000 AD and Universal Combat. And number 5, Massachusetts with 4 indie game studios, the Blue Fine Game Studios with Zoo Tycoon series. Digital One Games with a reckless disregard for gravity, a wonderful end of the world. It's been long, way too long in this place. That price smile long gone been replaced. From here to here, I see that fear in your face. 
and old Chemi Labs with the Snuggle Tracker, Rick and Morty Virtual Reality Job Simulator 2050 Archives. It's got throwing things! Whoa, 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 what is this, Rick? It, it looks like some sort of crazy video game about us or something. It's not just a video game, Morty. It's a virtual reality game. I sold our likenesses to some video game publisher for a lot of money, Morty. And they made, made a whole virtual reality game and it's, gonna, it's, it's got all kinds of great things about it, Morty. Uh and Somatic Studios with Field Runners. and Toby Fox Studios with Undertale and the Throne. Number 4, Texas. Texas have six indie game studios, Renegade Kid with Mutant Modes, Dominitium, The Ward, and The Moon, and Dominitium 2. Scott Carlton Studios with Five Nights at Freddy's series. And semi secret software studios with Cannabalt. And Soul Deck Entertainment with Depth of Peril, Kivis Underworld, Dean's Curse. Static Studio with the Banner Saga series. The end has come. And last one, Tiger Style with Walking Mars. Inspired the Secret of Bryce Manor and Spider the Right of the Shrouded Moon. We may never know what was really going on out there. A secret society built that place long ago. Okay, this is it for this episode. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and comment down the top three your guess. If you want to get notified for part two, just uh, ring the notification bell and click on subscribe button just to get notified for our next part of this series. My name is Ebolon. Thank you very much. Peace. They are not forgotten. We write them. Here.